At least 17 families lost their homes in this fire. You can see some of the damage where those flames ripped through. Now the community is working together to help those families, some who lost everything. I can't imagine losing everything, and it's just the little things that we can help with, and that's what we do. Linda Harvey is the executive director of Debbie's Treasure Chest. They're collecting clothing and gift card donations to help the more than 60 people who lost their homes in Friday night's fire. We really like to get the specific needs of what these fire victims want. Things like shoes, men's sweatpants, women's shirts, and kids' clothes in all sizes. We would really appreciate new clothes. We just feel as though when there's a fire, people really want to know that they're safe. Investigators believe the multi-alarm fire started in the third floor back deck of one of the homes on Crosby Street. Windy weather quickly pushed the flames that damaged five buildings, the siding on some melting away. Amazingly, no one was hurt. The community is really coming out. Wayne Hayes works with Heal Lawrence, a nonprofit helping people affected by fires or disasters in the city. We're just trying to keep them calm and keep them going. I happen to have a volunteer that's uh, contacting them now to make Easter baskets for the children. Heal Lawrence is also collecting gift cards that can be dropped off at the center on Haverhill Street. And we give them those things and it keeps them going. Some of the families are staying at a nearby hotel. The next step will be helping them find a new home. Anybody that might have an apartment or a lead on one, we've got plenty of people that can use it. The cause of the fire is under investigation. In Lawrence, Emily Maha, WCVB News Center 5.